Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of Nobody Asked. I am really excited about this one. Basically, I have three Dine Out Vancouver dinners lined up in the next week, and I wanted to take you guys along with me. I thought it would be really fun to rate some of the restaurants, and then if you guys have been to any of them lately, you can comment down below. For anyone who doesn't know, Vancouver does this Dine Out Festival every January, February-ish to kind of promote people going out to restaurants during this time. January, February is a really slow season. It's winter, it's post the holidays, so it's kind of just getting out there and supporting some local restaurants in Vancouver. So I'm really excited to do this. First restaurant that I'll be going to, which I'm going to tonight, is Maynam. It's a Thai restaurant. It's on 4th Avenue, 4th and Cyprus. I've been there before and I went with a couple friends, got a couple sharing plates, and it was really tasty. So I'm really excited to see their set menu. I'm going with my friend Emilio and we're going to be trying a couple stuff. We'll rate them for you. The menu is just listed here. I I don't actually know what we're gonna get yet. I don't even know what we're gonna get yet. I was thinking of eating fish for tonight just to try some of their menu items. We'll see. This is also gonna be the most expensive dine out Vancouver in this video. It's $65, which is definitely expensive. I will hope that it's going to be worth it. If it's a really good meal, I'll be definitely happy to pay that money for like a good experience like that. So, so let's go to Maynam and have a good time. You excited? Yeah, we're going to Maynam for Dine Out Vancouver. This is a $65 Dine Out menu, so hope it's good. Better be good. The vibe in Maynam is just so immaculate. The candle is really nice and the lighting is just dim enough that it feels very intimate. And I like that the menu was like sharing plate based. We got these two little appetizers to start and they were really yummy. I didn't have one of them because it had chicken, but Emilio said it was good. Although I feel awkward vlogging in public, but looks like we're gonna get the vegan tonka soup and then crispy banana blossom salad, a fish curry, and then a fish stir fry. And then for dessert, uh, we're each gonna get our own things that I haven't decided yet, so we'll see. Our appetizer soup came out and it was so delicious. The mushrooms had a really great texture. I also really love the lemongrass flavor in this soup. It was just very comforting and creamy. The coconut flavor really shone through. It was just a really good dish. Emilio and I completely devoured it and we were very happy. And then our main came and we were super impressed with them. The texture of the banana blossom salad was absolutely delicious. The seafood flavors were good in the curry and then the savoriness of the fish was so good. And then the desserts came and we were absolutely floored by this dessert here. It was so simple. It was just coconut milk and tapioca balls, but it was absolutely amazing. Good job, my nam. We enjoyed our meal. Hello, so we are back at my house and I just want to talk a little bit about the dinner. The dinner was 65 but with tip and everything we ended up paying $78 each. It was an expensive dinner and I think that it's like a wonderful restaurant. It is so delicious. Um, what was interesting is that um, even though I was trying seafood, what both the dishes that Emilio and I both liked the most were the vegan dishes. The soup, the banana uh, petal salad, and then the coconut dessert. Those were so good. Like I would say the soup is a nine out of 10. The banana blossom dish is a nine out of 10. And then the dessert, we had the coconut tapioca one. That was a 10 out of 10. Like both of us took a bite of it and like our faces lit up. It was so amazing. Um, the other two dishes, what were they? They were the seafood curry and then the ling cod stir fry. The seafood curry, I thought like the base is like every other like green curry that I've had. Um, that's like vegan instead of having like vegetables in it, it had like mussels shrimp obviously really tasty but I, I personally like like vegetables a lot so then when it didn't really like add anything having the seafood there versus having vegetables in I feel like it would have been equally as tasty if there's like good vegetables in the green curry so the base was like absolutely delicious and then the seafood's obviously really good so it was just a good meal and then I would say the ling cod is what I liked the least actually and maybe that's because I just don't have like too much of a palate for like fish I guess I just don't eat it very often. It's seasoned very well, it's very savory. When I actually like tried the fish like a little bit when it had less seasoning, it doesn't really taste like much. And I mean like, then that might not be a hot take, but <laughs> white fish doesn't really taste like anything. So with all the seasonings and the sauces and the peppers and mushrooms, it was good. But 
I'd say it was just like my least favorite out of all of them. So I would say the curry was probably an 8.5 and then the link cod was probably more of like a 7 to a 7.5. But overall, the meal was so delicious and I had a really great night. And I mean, like, I think a part of like going out to dine out in Vancouver is like spending time with your friends and like just getting out of the house. I was feeling kind of down today, but after going out tonight, I feel really good. I am excited for the next two restaurants. So yeah, let's get to it. Hello, everybody. I am back for my next dinner. I will be going to Nightshade tonight and I'm very excited for that because it's a vegan restaurant. I've been there a couple of times with my family and I've always had a really great meal. I find their dishes are very creative. A lot of the flavors that they have are very unique. I haven't really eaten at a restaurant where it serves similar dishes before. So it, I think it's going to be a really cool restaurant and I'm going with Emma and Allie and I'm especially excited to go with them because they are huge foodies, especially Allie. She likes to go to all the top restaurants in Canada. So I am curious to see like how she feels about this meal. This is the menu right here. Three options for appetizers, three options for entrees, and then two desserts. Um, last time I went there, they had more of like a sharing dish policy. So I wonder if the best plan is for the three of us to just get one of each and then we all share everything. But that might be fun to be able to try everything. I think for the dessert, since you get individual desserts, I'm probably gonna go for the carrot and apple cake. Yeah, I am really excited to check it out. So let's see if it lives up to the hype. Hello, I am at the restaurant now and I'm very excited to be here. I think that it's going to be a good meal. I'm just waiting for Emma and Allie to come. I'm pretty hungry. Any thoughts? Yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited. Not known for enjoying or uh, seeking out vegan vegetarian foods. Trying something new. A bit of dilemma with Emma's cocktail. It was very, very... Don't tell me using this chopstick. Oh, sorry. It was very, very strong, so we're mixing it up. Is it any better? It's still strong, but it's better. Is it sweet? It's good. BBL. Thoughts? I mean, like, I taste the lemongrass, but I don't think it's as strong as, like, as a, as a, I, I wish there was more salt, but it's good. Thoughts, Emma? It's lemongrass. I like the balance. Gyoza is very delicious. We love a truffle. This dish is the potato dish and it's very yummy and comforting except that it comes with this horseradish sauce that I am not sure how I feel about. It's like just it's kind of mid but the potato is delicious. I think it the is it is very coconutty. This is like the celeriac dish that Emma's eating now. Allie and I have both finished our portion. We finished like this part of the meal and that was just like pretty simple and tasty vegetables. This is like one of the most interesting things we've eaten. I don't know how to describe it. It just tastes like celery, but then also pasta and then also ricotta. But that's not even doing it justice. It's like sticking to the inside of my mouth. Just sticking to the inside of her mouth. Still gotta try that one. I'm ready to give all of the final ratings. There's a couple more dishes, so I'm gonna try to go through them and remember them. Um, if I, I honestly like do not remember the names of the dishes, then I'm really sorry. But like, I know what I'm talking about. The appetizer round. Um, if I had to rank them, I would say the best thing was the truffle gyoza, and then the second best thing was the potato dish, the one that was like very crispy and had all the different layers. And then my least favorite out of the three was the soup, but still everything was really delicious. So then I'd say the truffles were like an eight and a half. The potatoes were like a 7.8. And then the soup was more of a seven. And then for the main courses, I'm gonna put the pictures of the dishes here. The first dish that we had was really, I think that was like just like a very comforting dish. The vegetables were really yummy. The eggplant was absolutely delicious. I would rate that an eight. The second dish, that was really yummy. It was kind of like this. We actually had a discussion of, we don't know how to pronounce this vegetable, but celeriac, celeriac, I don't know. But the celeriac dish, that was really yummy. That was an 8.5. And then the eggplant dish at the end, that was with like the forbidden rice. That was honestly my favorite of the night. I thought it was so tasty. So I would probably rate that an 8.5. 
8 or an 8.9. I feel like it's not quite a 9, but I like it more than an 8.5. So that was my rating. And then the desserts were a little bit more simple, um, which I liked. It was good. Both Emma and I got the apple carrot cake and then Allie got the cheesecake and hers came with like ice cream and it was kind of like more of like a panna cotta than it was a cheesecake in terms of texture and flavor. It was really good. The carrot cake was really good. It was just like kind of um, in terms of taste, it was a classic carrot cake. They did a really good job imitating um, cream cheese, even though it was vegan, so that was really tasty. I think overall, all of the flavors from tonight, Nightshade does a really good job of presenting these really unique dishes. Like, you can't really find what is being served at Nightshade anywhere else, especially for vegan cuisine. I just think it's like a very unique restaurant and it's worth trying. I think I prefer my dinner at Maynam to my dinner at Nightshade only because I think with fine dining I find like sometimes the dishes are just a little bit too much and too unique and I I'm a simple girl it doesn't take much to make me happy so I feel like I preferred Maynam because it was more about like diving into Thai cuisine anyways we have one more restaurant in this video that we're visiting which I am excited about so let's get to it we have come to the last dinner and luckily for me it is also somewhere very close to home I have glowed up even though it's just a Thursday night, I'm still gonna be cute. So I'm going to Izakaya Gons. It's obviously Japanese, specifically an Izakaya place, obviously. So this is the vegetarian menu. And as I'm looking at the appetizers, I feel like I'm gonna go for the agadashi tofu. I feel like that's what I always get. Um, and then for the entrees, with the first option, I don't know what a sukiyaki is. Um, I, I mean, it says slash rice, so I assume it's like vegetables with rice or noodles. Or with option B, it seems like you get veggie roll, veggie tempura, and miso soup, which to me seems a little bit more up my alley. But then I'm like, am I just like going for the safe option? But is the safe option not going to lead me to a better meal and then a higher rating for them? And I don't want to like, I don't want to not give a restaurant a high rating if they deserve it. You know what I mean? Like... I mean, I'll see when I get there. Maybe the menu in person is gonna have um, more details, but we'll see. I'm looking forward to it. Again, am I not looking a little cute tonight? <laughs> I actually fucking hated the hair and makeup when I was doing it in my bathroom, but then with my filming lights and on camera, it looks really good. But then I'm sure once I go into regular lighting again, I'm gonna look at my face and be like, I fucking hate this. So oh, here I go, talking negative again. Anyways. Let's go eat. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So it looks like we get to have like a little bit of each appetizer, which is amazing. And yeah, I still don't know which main I'm gonna get, but we'll see. I'm just waiting for Silk to come and I am very excited. Silk had the fish option, I got the veggie option. And as you can see, look at how good these appetizers look. Everything had different textures and different flavors. The plum wine was actually very sweet and not bitter. The veggie roll was pretty standard, but I'd say the standout were the kimchi and then the okinomiyaki. And the dessert was of course a really nice Hello, sweet everyone. touch. We are back. I had a great meal. Izakaya Gons was really yummy and um, I was delightfully surprised that I misinterpreted the menu and that that first appetizer course was just was just like nine small dishes of the nine things that were listed there. It was so yummy and especially the kimchi. The kimchi was so good. The only thing I didn't eat out of that uh, thing was the potato salad. I am not a picky person at all, but like for some reason potato salad is like one of the few foods that I'm just like, I do not have an appetite for I would say but anyways yeah the appetizer course was so good it was so unique it was really great to be able to try all of those little dishes for the main course both Silk and I got the sushi option so I ended up going with the safe bet but I don't regret it at all the veggie roll was good and then I got a bunch of veggie tempura which was also very yummy especially the asparagus and finally the dessert came it was just a, a mini little like creme brulee again just like super yummy super simple it was just like a really good meal and the restaurant is so nice and also they give you a little bit of like a, a shot of plum wine yeah and the service was so nice our server was just so sweet just so kind um i had a really good experience there like honestly like that meal was so good if i had to rank the three meals that i had i'd probably put maynam at the top i'd put izakaya gone second and then nightshade just a tier below only because i think 
like I've talked about before, I'm a simple girl. It doesn't take much to please me. I think I just really enjoyed like simple, good food. That's what Izakaya Gons gave me. And I'm also very happy that I live really close to it. I would love to go back and check out some of their non-dine out menu options. This was an exciting video to make. Um, I hope you guys liked it. And maybe um, if I have time, I'll go try out some more dine out Vancouver's. I don't know if I'm gonna go enough to make a second video about it, but yeah, it was really fun. I also encourage you if you can to go and support some of the Vancouver restaurants. I think this was a really good opportunity for me to like check out some restaurants that I haven't been to for a while and to just try some good Good food. If you like what you saw, you can go ahead and subscribe or don't. I don't know how this works. Anyways, I guess I'll just see you next time I upload on YouTube. So bye and thank you for watching.